Hello and welcome to Altcoin XP. My name is Anthony and today I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to register a name on the Ethereum domain system. So first you have to open up uh, Mist and I'm using the Mist browser but I think you can use like MetaMask and some other uh, Ethereum things. Uh, but this is what I have, so this is what I'm using. Uh, so first we want to go to uh, HTTPS uh, ENS domains. And then we can go to get started and register a name. So now here we can, uh, this is a registrar, and we can look up uh, a name like altcoin XP. And uh, this is me. Uh, I won the auction for altcoinxp.eth uh, a couple days ago. So I'm gonna, first thing we have to do is connect our uh, Ethereum account. And then that pins the registrar to the sidebar. So now I'm gonna uh, register altcoinxp-anthony. And it shows that uh, the name is available and we can bid on it. I know that this account has 4.98 Ether in it. So I'm going to bid for Ether. Uh, at the end, uh, this would be my maximum bid would be for Ether. So at the end of the auction, if no one else bids up that high, then I get the remaining Ether back. So say like the maximum bid that someone else would want to pay for this name is uh, two ether, then and I win, then I would get the remaining ether back. Uh, just like how a maximum bid on eBay would work. So now we go to show more options and we can see this protect bid anonymity uh, feature. I'm gonna put in, uh, let me change this around. I'm gonna bid three ether max here and uh, I'm gonna bid one ether here. Uh, what this does, I, I want to see how this works because my last uh, auction, I didn't uh, use it. So uh, what this does is it's supposed to keep your bid secret. So I think you can't see it on uh, the blockchain. So we could check that later. But uh, at the end of the auction, when you reveal your bid, you get this uh, protect my bid anonymity. You get this ether back. So I'm sure it's worth trying out anyway. And uh, we're just gonna keep the fee at default and click that you understand the process and then just place your bid. So then put in your password. And now uh, you wanna back up your bids. Uh, I'm not sure why, I mean, it's always good to have backups, but I'm still too new in this uh, process to know uh, why exactly you need, want this. So just download this and uh, oh, it doesn't have my thing. I just download it to my desktop. This is on a VM. So now we'll wait for this transaction to go through on the blockchain. So it has to get picked up in a block, but we can go to uh, etherscan.io and I should be able to see should be able to see it on the blockchain. So this is a transaction here, it's still pending. So uh, I'm, we're gonna wait a little bit, but uh, I'm not sure how the protect my bid anonymity feature works. See, it, it only shows, like you guys saw that I only bid three ether on this, uh, on this domain name, but it shows here that, I, that the value is for four ether. So I guess what it does is adds additional ether on top of my bid 
This way, uh, everyone would see that my bid is somewhere lower than the value that it has listed here, but they don't know exactly how low. So I, my max bid could be like half of an ether, but you won't be able to tell because all this shows is for ether. So uh, what happens now, uh, this is supposed to update. So I'm gonna restart mist and see if it'll update. So now what happens is uh, after I place a bid, we have uh, three days has to pass to which anyone else can bid on this. Uh, right now, I think it would show that no one bid on it. Don't quote me on that. But uh, at the end of the three days, everyone who placed a bid on uh, the altcoin XP dash Anthony domain name has to reveal their bid. And then this way the blockchain can see everyone's bid and then whoever is the highest bidder. So then whoever is the highest bidder after the reveal phase gets the uh, gets to win the domain name. So at the end of this, I'll see you guys at the end of the three days. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been over three days and it's time for us to reveal our ENS bids. So we open up Mist, and I already have the page opened. Actually, we have to refresh it. Uh, so this is pretty simple. We just click Reveal and put in our password. And then in a little while, it'll reveal. But uh, it's waiting for a block confirmation. While we're revealing, I'll talk about the uh, backup file that uh, I backed up. Uh, this will uh, save your bid, so just how like an account works, so you can transfer it between computers. And uh, if you lose like your, if you lose all your Ethereum data, you'll have your bids backed up here because. Yeah, so now our uh, now our bids are revealed for this altcoin xp anthonyeth domain name. Uh, everyone has 48 hours to reveal their bids. So uh, as long as no one bids higher than me in the next, uh, I guess, 37 hours, 38 hours, then I'll win this. Uh, I'll win this auction for. 0 0.01 ether which is the minimum amount and if someone bids higher than me then and I still win then I'll win whatever uh, the highest over their bid will be so that's it uh, I'll check back in I'll be back in 38 hours to uh, finish the rest of this video okay guys so the auction has now ended and we're gonna finish setting up our name on the ethereum name system so I don't really know what I'm doing after I click this. So I'm just gonna be following this guide uh, on the Ethereum subreddit. You can just search for this title and uh, you'll be able to find it. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna follow along with this. So let's see what happens when we click set up your name and get your ether back. So it looks like we have the option to set a resolver. So a resolver is kind of like, uh, I'm going back pretty far here, but like the host.txt file in Windows, it's just a list of, uh, this would be like a list of Ethereum addresses and the ENS names that they're associated with. Uh, and then it looks like we can either transfer or release uh, our name so we can transfer it to someone else or release it back into the wild to be bid on again and uh, we can unwatch it that looks like it 
but I'm gonna switch to my the I'm gonna switch to just the altcoin XP name and do all this on that one because uh, altcoin XP dot F is the name that I'm gonna be sticking with. Uh, the other one was just used for demonstration purposes, which I realized I can uh, do all this on the test net and not waste any Ethereum, which I'm going to be doing in the future. So I guess the default resolver is whatever Ethereum decides is the default resolver. Uh, I don't know who runs it. I Obviously, it's just a contract, but you should be able to use different resolvers as well. Uh, just like how you can use different DNS servers and whatever. So I'm not sure if you want to use a different resolver. I'm not sure how to set that up, but we'll just go with the default one since that'll probably be the most widely uh, most widely used one. So just put in our account password and send transaction. So this is what we're left with after uh, it set up the resolver. Uh, this right here. Uh, I'm not sure what to put as this main Ethereum address, if we're supposed to put the resolver's address, or if this is where we put our Ethereum address. Uh, I don't want to put the resolver address in here, because if that's wrong and I can't change it, that means any Ether that gets sent to this name gets sent to the resolver contract. So I don't know, let's put in, let's put in my ether address and see what happens. Each of these uh, costs, uh, costs a fee in Ethereum too, so. Okay, so it looks like that was the right thing to do. So, let's see about setting up a subdomain. So my goal here is to do anthony.altcoinxp.f. I wanna show you guys uh, the ENS documentation that I found too. Uh, if you just go to ens.domains, uh, you don't need to do this in uh, the MIST browser like I am. You could do it uh, in a. You could do it in a regular browser too, uh, and then just read the documentation. And uh, well, MIST froze, so we'll just do it here and read the documentation and uh, hopefully this should have all the answers I need. So the issue that I have with the documentation on ens.domains is that everything here is commands either, I don't know what this is, like JavaScript or if you run it in Geth or what, uh, I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to do any of the command line stuff. I'd rather be able to do everything in MIST. This is good as a reference to kind of get an understanding because this goes back before ENS was even launched. So you, you can get valuable information from this documentation, but uh, it's not the guide that I'm looking for. I guess I'm the one who's making the guide I'm looking for. Like, why can't this say like set subdomain somewhere here. Why can't it say it here in MIST? I don't get it. This guide that I'm reading for uh, the Reddit post that I told you about, this is a guide to tell you how to do it with my Ethereum wallet, which is uh, right here, which is just a website that you could do like a ton of awesome stuff. Uh, I'm not saying anything bad about them because they've been doing this since the beginning of Ethereum and they have an awesome product. I just want to be able to do things in MIST and with the clients that Ethereum releases. Uh, so I have no idea how to set 
this with the subdomain just from mist and uh so that's going to be the end of this video in the future i will make a video finishing up everything with my ethereum wallet so that's the end of this video if you like this video uh please like subscribe and comment and share this video you can donate Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Dash to the addresses on screen and in the video description. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And I think that's it. Thank you, guys. Bye.